Hi friends, it's Kate from Train Em Up. Thanks for joining me today on my channel. And if you're new, thanks for watching. And if you are returning, thanks for coming back. I am a homeschooling mom of two boys and I love to share my journey so I can encourage you in this whole idea of parenting with a purpose. And today's video is viewer requested. It is about homeschooling and getting those chores done with young children. Should we include them? Should we not include them? And the question was simply, I have children under the ages of six and I do not know if I should start chores or how to even begin that. They watched my video of my five-year-old doing chores and I'll link that above, which was my homeschool routine video I did about a month ago. And um, they watched him doing these things and they wondered, well, it has definitely been a process and I have uh, I've been uh, trying to stay as consistent about this over the years. I've read a lot about it, I've watched other families, and I've tried a lot of different things. So I'm gonna share with you four ways that we do chores with young children and homeschooling. So my first um, idea that I want to present to you is work ethic. And in my mind, I think this is not about me getting help in the household. This is about me teaching my children that work is an important part of life. So that means in the first few years, you're actually doing most of the work, but they need to be with you while you're doing it. You also have to do a lot of checking and a lot of teaching on this. It is not um, something that is actually easy and in a lot of ways, not as helpful. But you'll find when time goes on, by the time my child was about eight or nine, things really started to become uh, helpful to me. But I always think this is really about their um, growth and development. And so I start that um, when I look at their chores and assign their chores, and uh, especially if they're doing something um, that is actually causing more harm than good. Um, but the next thing I want to say, number two, is I start really young. Like when they're toddlers, usually they don't have a lot of attention span to help out, but they definitely want to come up and they try to get involved and imitate you. Maybe you're with a dish or you're with the laundry and uh, they want to help fold. And I just encourage them at that point, yay, thank you, good job, you know, and just let them go so that you can get the rest of the stuff done um, and let them go play. But um, I definitely try to instill that work ethic right away. And then at about three years old, I assign them three chores that they will be able to do by the time they're five on their own without much supervision. And that includes like picking up uh, toys and um, making their bed. Now I do check their work at that point, but usually they're getting much more skilled at doing it. So about three, around the three-year-old birthday, I say, congratulations, you're gonna help us out. And I usually have to do those chores with them. I don't just let them go. It's, I could call it the chore and training time. It's a wonderful time to get older children involved in, um, uh, maybe they're toddling out. Well, they're actually now preschool, but they're going out with them to help out on their chore. And um, I tell my, uh, older child, you know what, one day he'll take over this chore. So, you know, it's worth the investment to try to teach him. And uh, usually they work together pretty well on those things. So uh, that's my second tip, which would be to start young. My third tip is um, obviously you're gonna have kids who can't read yet and I want to personalize this experience for them. It's hard for them to have checklists and everything. Um, but I have adopted the uh, chore pack method. And here's the little chore packs right here from um, managers of their home and then they have another book, um, managers of their chores I believe. And they're the uh, Titus um, 2 uh, ministry and the Maxwell family. They're well known and I will put a link below to their site. Um, but they have been very helpful in their suggestion. I adapted things a little bit from how they do it. They actually don't wear their chore packs out, but um, we do get them 
out and put them on the table and they look through them during chore time. So the chore packs only come out during the designated chore time. And I usually only pick uh, the same chore every day, so there's a card for it, and switch it out about once a year around the birthday mark. So um, they'll have these cards pretty much that entire year and uh, they'll put the cards back in the little packet when they have completed the task. And um, you know, if you have a lot of kids, maybe they do need to wear them, but uh, my kids are happy just having them. Um, and I, I like the freedom. I know of another mom who put other things in the chore packs as a reminder um, to do that day. And it's been very helpful. So, um, but one of the things with the chore packs and when you have younger kids is, is and this is my third tip, I'll get to that, um, to put pictures because they don't obviously can't read very well and the pictures will remind them, okay, this is the task. I've drawn dogs and there's stickers out there too. I mean, you can put stickers on, on them. Um, and so that's helpful for um, just kind of get, engaging them in the tasks on the cards. So if you did it by a list or something else, I would just say use pictures when you're dealing with young children. And my last um, bit of advice is to um, make sure that the rest of your family has a good attitude about doing chores too. Oftentimes, um, well, I've heard this comment from a mom that said that her child, as soon as the first child knew how to clean up, the rest of them did because they often see what the older child is doing. And so I have to be careful of my attitude towards work. Am I sitting around? Am I lazy? Am I complaining about my work? Or do I say, you know what, I have some chores to do and I don't complain about it. And I say, yes, I've got to get this done. And, um, and so I kind of expect that from them. Um, when they're really young, I might give them a reward, but as they get older, it's especially um, just part of their daily task. If they want to earn money, we have a whole other system for that, which is called service bucks. And they can earn uh, money that way by doing extra chores and tasks. That has been extremely helpful. And, um, but that's kind of a whole nother video of it in its own. So again, my four tips for young children. Number one, Think about the work ethic and try to make it about the development of your children and not about meeting your needs. Number two would be to help children uh, at a very young age and encourage them to take ownership of some chores even if you're helping them out. And number three would be to use pictures and have some kind of system whether it is on a checklist or it is on cards like I do it and um, just let them see what their chore is uh, every day instead of just words. Number four would be to make sure that everyone in the household has a good work ethic that is regularly doing their chores and not complaining about them and encouraging and letting the child go along, these younger children go along and do some of these chores. So hope you find that helpful. Let me know in the comments how you do chores or some of your thoughts. And I'd love it if you subscribe and like this video. I will see you in my next video. Any suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks.